Hey all, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna unpack how you can create a live meeting agenda, minutes and tasks inside of your next Microsoft Teams meeting using the power of Microsoft Loop. That means you'll no longer need to go and send out that agenda on an email and ask the people's thoughts for you to refine it. Instead, when you send that agenda out, they can update it in place using Microsoft Loop and even better, those minutes and tasks that you include in that meeting can also be automatically assigned using Microsoft To Do, meaning tasks generated in the meeting get straight into the right person's to-do list for them to pick it up and they can even get reminders. So with that in mind, we would love it if you liked this video, to hit the like button and follow for more great content in the future to continue to grow our small channel. So let's dig in to that new capability using Microsoft Loop and see how you're gonna supercharge your next team meeting. So let's get started by creating a live meeting agenda, tasks and also meeting notes inside of our meeting that's coming up. Now to use this tip, you're gonna to need to use the Teams client to create this at the moment. So go into Teams through the web or through the app and then you can effectively go and select the location and time that you would like to have our meeting. So let's go ahead and get this meeting in the diary and get adding that live component from Microsoft Loop. So to do that here, I'm gonna go and select a time date in my diary inside of Teams. Once I've done that, I can then go into here and create a new meeting request. Now here we're gonna add the same detail we normally would. A meeting title, the required attendees, and a little bit of detail understanding what this meeting is about. So let's go ahead and add that into our meeting invite. So there we have it, we have our meeting details. Missing the all important live loop component though. So to add that in, the bottom of the screen, select add, an agenda others can edit. And once you do that, you'll see this loop icon then appear. It says getting things ready. What effectively it's doing is creating us a loop component that's gonna be used for that live synchronization in our meeting that we will both see on the agenda and inside of the Microsoft team meeting that we can make live changes to. So once again, let's add a few agenda points at the top here based on what we need to discuss in our meeting. And there we have it. We now have some points in our agenda but also we can allocate these points to people inside of our meeting, meaning that before the meeting, people understand the parts of the meeting they're responsible for, and we can even check them off in the meeting. So let's go ahead and add one of these agenda points to one of my colleagues who's in the meeting. All we need to do is go onto one of these points, click on the at button, and then we can search for that person internally. So here I'm gonna go and search for Megan. So Megan's gonna do the overview of the recent project developments. Now, as you can see, when I clicked into Megan's name with the plus icon next to it, it effectively says that Megan needs access to this component to both view and make changes. And it will do that for you automatically when you click on that plus button. So here I can click grant access and grant Megan access to this loop component. And she'll also be notified on email of the component and the details and can make changes pre the meeting. So let's go ahead and add further assignments for the other two. Here again, I'll add Megan in for our second point, and you'll see it doesn't show the plus icon. And for upcoming tasks and deadlines, I'm gonna allocate this to Nestor. Once again, Nestor doesn't have access, so click on that plus button, and then grant access to Nestor will provide the appropriate permission. So outside of me and my team there, that's gonna define who has access to this agenda. Now, I'm not gonna add any meeting notes or follow-up tasks because that's really useful to do in the meeting itself. So let's go ahead and send out this meeting. And then we're gonna join the meeting using the normal method in Outlook or Teams by clicking on that join Teams meeting link that we get to access the meeting. So as if by magic, I'm now in my Microsoft Team meeting and on the right hand side, immediately loaded in Teams is the agenda that we created in that invitation powered by Microsoft Loop Components. Now on the left here, as we actually go through the meeting, I can easily check off these points in the agenda so we can understand where we are on the overall meeting. So super powerful to be able to run your meeting in a better way than trying to do an agenda in Word or in the invite separately. You can check these off as you go. Now in addition, we can also add notes from our meeting. So as things are discussed and we wanna make notes of these points to follow up with later, we can very simply click into here and add the all important meeting notes that are going on inside of your meeting. And then finally, as tasks come up in the meeting, we can also include those and synchronize them straight into Microsoft To Do 
so you can pick up those tasks outside of this meeting and make updates. All we need to do is click into add a task and we can paste in that conduct testing provider report by the end of the week. We can also assign it though. It's actually going to assign this task to the account I'm logged into with Alex to show you how that looks. We can also put a due date that's expected by next Friday, the 30th, and that task has now been added into the task list. So once the meeting's complete, your meeting notes and tasks have all been added, you can go ahead and then click on leave in the meeting. So we can get back to those notes and tasks very easily as well by clicking back into the meeting that we originally joined. And then we have that section at the bottom here for Microsoft Loop. There's our follow-up tasks, our meeting notes, and also the agenda points that we covered. Very straightforward for us to get back into that view. But not only that, if we open up Microsoft To Do, and we also look at the tasks that we've got that have been assigned to me, we'll also see that that task that we had for conduct testing, providing a report by the end of the week, has been added in my to-do list. There's even a link back to the meeting notes inside a loop I can click to review all of those points. And we can also add further notes and steps. So a task that we effectively added inside of our meeting has been allocated and available into Microsoft to do so we can easily pick up and actioned. And that's the power of these live meeting notes that we can have using Microsoft Loop inside of Teams and also provide that much better experience than you trying to do some Word or on paper or somewhere else. So we hope you liked this video. We'd love it if you did. Hit that like button and follow for more great content in the future. We look forward to seeing how you're going to use these tips to improve your next meeting and bring together the agenda, tasks and meeting notes.